What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and today we're going to be checking out three customization tricks that you could apply right now on iOS 9.3.x without a jailbreak. The specific versions that this will be compatible with are listed in the description down below. So maybe you're waiting for a new jailbreak to be released and you still want to customize your device, or maybe you just don't want to jailbreak your device for whatever reason. This video will show you three you know, cool ways to customize your device and add some cool functionality to it. So these tricks include how to create blank spaces on the home screen, as you can see, just like this. There are city tweaks out there that allow you to do this, but again, this requires no jailbreak. I'm also going to show you how to create circular folders just like this, and I'm also going to show you how to hide any app on your device, whether it be a stock app or an app store app. So let's start out with the folders, how to create circular folders. So I did not discover this method. This was originally brought to my attention by another YouTube video by Jose Rodriguez. I'll be sure to put a link to his original YouTube video in the description down below. So to achieve this effect on your device, you want to open up the link that I have in the description down below on your device in mobile Safari. So this page will contain some wallpapers. They're just solid color wallpapers, but just go ahead and pick the one that you want to use on your device. Unfortunately, you have to actually pick a solid color. You can't keep your current wallpaper. But anyways, once you find one that you like, just tap and hold on it. And then you're going to go ahead and select save image. And once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and exit out to the home screen and open up the settings app. And you're just going to go ahead and set the wallpaper for the home screen. So let's go ahead and open up wallpaper, choose new wallpaper, and again, just choose the image that you just saved and make sure you set it to the home screen. So just go ahead and select set. I'm just going to set it to both lock screen and home screen so things match. But again, the only thing that matters is that it's on the home screen. And after you've done that, that's literally it. The folders on your home screen will now appear in a circle form. This is basically just a glitch with the pixel, the certain amount of pixels that the wallpapers on that website have. But again, it can really spice up the experience of your device. So next up, I'm going to show you how to create blank spaces on your home screen. So to achieve this effect, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and put your device into wiggle mode. That's just when you edit all the applications. So just go ahead and tap and hold on any app on your device. And then just swipe over and you will see a blank page right here. And what you want to do is just take a screenshot of this page, just like that. And you can go ahead and exit wiggle mode. And now you actually have that screenshot in your photos app. And that's actually what we want. So as you can see right here, we just have a photo there. It's of our device in wiggle mode with that blank page showcasing your wallpaper. So now you want to go down below into the description of this video and click on the other website that I have linked for you guys. And on this website, you're going to see choose file. Just tap on that and select photo library. And essentially, you're just going to select the screenshot that you just took of your home screen in wiggle mode and just go ahead and select upload photo. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a table for you. And this table will show you all of the individual spaces on the home screen in the form of columns and rows just like this. So essentially how this works is you want to go back to your home screen and find the specific space that you want to make blank. I'm going to make the, the space where the Maps app is currently blank. So as you can see, that's two rows down and it's three apps over. So what I would do is I would find in the website on that table, I'd find two by three, as you can see, just like that, wherever that specific space was, I tap on that. And now once you're here, you just want to go ahead and select the little share sheet at the bottom of the screen, just like that. Then you're going to select add to home screen and just go ahead and add this bookmark to the home screen. And now that you've added that, you could actually just drag that specific bookmark in the place of wherever you, you know, wanted to create a blank space. And there's this cool little blank icon that that website created. And now there you go, just like that, it blends right in and it vanishes. And now you have a blank space. So it's a very creative way to essentially make blank spaces. It's just really cool and it works very well. So of course you could do this with as many spaces as you want. Just go back to the website, go back to this page and essentially just continue doing what you want to do. Now, of course, when you change the wallpaper, on your device, it will require you to repeat the process because, of course, again, that website essentially just utilizes your wallpaper to basically get this job done. So as you can see, I just changed my wallpaper and everything looks really ugly because it's a different wallpaper. So, of course, you'll just need to delete all the little bookmarks. Once they're all deleted, you'll need to, of course, repeat the process. So you just need to go to the website again after you, of course, enter your device into wiggle mode, take a screenshot and again, just repeat the whole process pretty much from beginning to end. So I just want to show you with a more complicated wallpaper as a opposed to the solid color one that I was using earlier, just to show you how good it looks and how well it blends in. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the photo that I just took. And of course, once again, we have this entire grid interface that we could just select the specific space. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the app store icon, which is three rows down, two over. And again, you just want to find three by two inside Safari. So select it. And then you're just going to go ahead and add that to the home screen. So you're going to select the share sheet. 
add the home screen and then select add and now of course just position it in the proper space and you will be good to go and again the space just vanishes like it was never there and again it really emulates jailbreak tweaks such as anchor or gridlock so once again it's a super cool effect and next up i'm going to show you how to hide any app on your device whether it be a stock app or an app store app now this glitch was also discovered by jose rodriguez i'll be sure to put a link to his original video in the description for this glitch as well so basically how this works is make sure the first page on your device is completely filled then just go ahead and find an app that you want to hide on any other page that isn't the first tap and hold and go ahead and swipe over to the first page so go ahead and drag and drop the app onto any app on the first page. It'll create a folder window. Just drag it out without releasing it and drop the app on the dock down below. As you can see right there, the app will simply just vanish and it's completely gone from your device. Now, of course, if you pull down Spotlight Search and search for the app, you will still be able to access the app. Again, this is just a temporary way to hide applications. And also, if you reboot your device, the application will reappear on the home screen. So this is very temporary, and you never have to worry about permanently losing anything. Again, this is just a temporary visual glitch. So it's really handy. Maybe if you just hate one of those pesky stock applications that you can't delete, or maybe you just want to hide an app for a specific period of time for whatever reason, this will work. So as you can see right there, Game Center is right back on my home screen after a reboot. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up all of these glitches. Hope you guys found some cool ones in this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on iOS-related topics and jailbreaking. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.